Hello and welcome back to another brand new episode of Let's English. In this video, we have a special guest with us, featuring another episode of Kichu Talks. None other than one of my school toppers in the science stream, Pranand. Thank you so much for spending your time and being here. So, in a later video, I explained some study tips and techniques about commerce stream, and it was amazing that most of you found it helpful. So after that, many people ask, you know, we wanted an experience or like a background from Science Street. So I think you're the best person to explain about that. Uh, let's begin with first of all, why did you choose Science Street? So uh, I've always been fascinated about medical sciences, and uh, I had uh, the conclusion that I will go towards the medical field okay. itself. So that's why, as a base, uh, I got to study science. Cool. Okay, that's very good. Because most of times, what happens is with science stream, parents push them, and then students like fall into it. But it's it's always amazing to hear that you're picking that science stream for a clear reason. That's one thing which everyone should do. So, what all subjects did you have? So I took uh, biomass, okay. and we had biology, mathematics as the main subject, okay. and chemistry, and physics, and math. Maths. Uh, English. Yeah, English language. English. Yeah. So, how was each subject for you? Well, uh, of course, as most of the children, I found biology really easy, okay. and uh, chemistry was also a bit easier. Right. Uh, then coming to physics and mathematics, it was kind of tough for me, okay. uh, especially mathematics. Sure. Uh, not in plus one, but when it came to plus two. Plus two. Uh, then uh, English, uh, I've always been really good with English, but okay. towards the last and all. Uh, I usually used to make a lot of mistakes in the one okay, word yeah, okay, and yeah, paragraph. MCQ, really, yeah, yeah. So that was wrong. great. So another like common uh, you know misconception is let's enjoy plus one and study in plus two. So does that work with science or is there any connection between plus one syllabus and plus two syllabus? There is. There definitely is a Fine. great connection. So if you do not have that base of level, yeah. uh, neither will your plus two be strong, nor will the upcoming fields for you. It, because we need an entrance for all the other courses, yes, so exactly. that entrance will not be good. Will not be good. Right. So another question which I have is, you know, uh, physics and maths is a subject I think most of the viewers find uh, you know struggle with. So how did you overcome? Or like, what was your study pattern and everything? Uh, physics is actually a very easy subject. Okay. But as I said, I found it tough. Uh, the main reason is that physics, a lot of kids just skip through the concepts mm -hmm. and they just uh, learn about the questions right. but we have to have a clear understanding of the concepts yes, got it. and uh, there are a lot of teachers who can teach it to us with a crystal clarity so what you have to do is uh, first of all make your concepts clear okay got it so if you're fine with that then questions uh, after, uh, with practice it would be really easy for you yes fine so she's not just a person who is entirely bookish or like she is also she was also the school leader along with me she is also an active participant in lots of other co-curricular activities so how did you balance studies with these type of activities sometimes uh, yes it might feel overwhelming but yeah. it really is not because if we are following everything with passion then it's a piece of cake yeah but of course we have to put our effort a lot into that so i uh, always whenever i was finished with any co-curricular activity then uh, I would jump to studying right. Whatever, right. whatever I have missed. And today we are so fortunate that we have a lot of YouTube classes to yeah. compensate okay. for the real yeah. classes. So yes, I made use of that. So you've been studying for nine years at Ansar English School, Perimila. How was your overall experience? So I came here as um, an IRI kid. Okay. So it was a really good experience for me. Right. Because uh, here we learn a lot more values. True, true, yeah. Uh, and I think these last two years, plus one and plus two, it had been the best years of my life uh, uh, in every terms, like my co-curricular activities yeah. as well as academics. So I'm really, I find it really good. Right. So like back to the studies and everything. So do you use any particular study tips or techniques while you're going through or how, how does it go? Through? Yes, I always uh, used to read the paragraph. Right. And then um, I just read it out aloud. I understand whatever, even okay. physics. Yeah. Um, I use the book SL Aurora, which my uh, teacher had suggested me. Okay. So after reading the theory part, as I said, we have to 
make a content clear. So I will just read it out loud oh. and um, there are formulas. Yeah. So formulas, uh, maybe if you, you know, you cannot memorize it at one go. Mm -hmm. So maybe you would have to write it down somewhere. Yes. Uh, I used to have a wall with my sticky notes over there. Okay. So for the formulas, which I do not um, memorize, yeah. like I cannot get it. In got it, got it. Fine, so that's great. Uh, another thing which I have to like really ask you is, uh, how is the science syllabus? Is it vast or is it is it broad or is it just like only a few concepts are there or how is it? Is it? It is definitely vast. Okay, um, got it. Like uh, coming to CBC, we have to concentrate a lot more. Uh, but if you are a studious person, not like really bookish, if you are curious enough to know what's happening inside that book. Then uh, you might not find it that difficult. Yeah. Even chemistry and physics, it's kind of fun to learn if you get the concepts. Yeah. Right. So if you like, you know, set your mindset accordingly. Yes. Do you Have you used any reference books or any guides which you found helpful? Yes, of course. I. Uh, but all that aside, I would say keep your NCRT yeah. thorough. Yeah. Like you have to be thorough with your NCRT each and every line, but not by just memorizing it yes. you have to understand each understand and every concept and, and that would not only help you with the boards but also in the entrance yes. okay so ncrt book is basically the king to you uh, know clear out any exam so how was the board exam experience were you, were you nervous or what happened there what was your emotion um of course uh, i was nervous as any other yeah. child would be um but um i knew that i have done all what i could yes so that confidence was there in me so it was not that much of a problem right and you finally secured lots of marks and of course i have to highlight this particular point she is also a sendum achiever in a language subject in english which is not at all easy Thank so you. how did you like achieve that that's that's amazing yeah the thing is it's quite unbelievable for me okay. right now even right now so uh First of all, um, I used to read whatever was taken in the class. Uh -huh. So, um, reading the book is crucial. But before I read that chapter, I used to watch these animated videos uh -huh. which we got uh, for English. Yeah. After uh, watching those videos, I would read, read the chapter. So, I would get a clear picture. And then uh, towards the last, I used to read some guides. and. Okay. Uh, a good handwriting is very important yeah. in English. So if your handwriting is messy, uh, we have to of course work on it. And uh, underlining each and every part, that is important. Mm -hmm. So I did not have that much time after completing the exam, but even uh, then I tried to underline everything that I could. Yes, okay, fine. So, you know, you're, you're a person who goes for other activities, or act, you know, you're active in other uh, activities as well. So, you know, you miss classes due to that. So, how do you cope up those classes? Um, yeah, uh, of course, we have YouTube classes. Yeah, I so, I used to watch YouTube classes, not necessarily the Malayalam classes. Mm -hmm. um, uh, there are some classes uh, which are needs based because I am go I am need classroom. Yeah. So, I used to watch those uh, right. classes too. Great. So, finally, you secured all the marks. How are you feeling now? <laughs> Alhamdulillah, I am very grateful to see my results out. So it's not, it's, you know, it's a great accomplishment that uh, I am, I'm yeah. really thankful to Ansar, to my parents and my friends, everyone. Well, thank you so much for spending your time. It was fruitful listening to you and your experience. I'm sure all, you know, all the science students will find it really, really helpful. All the best for your future endeavors. Thank you so much. And thank you so much, everyone.